Okay, removing the old master cylinder, we've already drained all the fluid out of it. It's pretty much leaked out from everything else we've been working on with the uh, front brakes and the rear brakes. So we're gonna disconnect these two lines that go to the front and back of the master cylinder are a different size, the fittings are the same. I use a 9 16 line wrench to remove these lines. You wanna be sure uh, if, like this one, uh, either remove the cap because of these little tabs on there are deadly, or use a longer wrench or a pair of gloves or something because these lines have been on here forever. And when they let go, uh, you know, they'll let go and you'll tear up a finger or a knuckle like I just did on this. So be careful. We've got some paper towels down here. Just in case there's any brake fluid dripping, it's very, uh, okay, the lines are free. The two nuts that hold the master cylinder on are a 15 millimeter. The last nut off, it should be free. Out with the old. The new master cylinder is intended for a 2001 Tahoe or Silverado or Suburban. It has a sensor in it for a fluid level, and you're not going to need that. So if you squeeze the little tongs on this side, it comes right out. You don't need it. Insert it back in the same way the old one came off. The brackets on there. And put the nuts back on. New master cylinder's in place. It's a little shorter, so let me show you a side view. Okay, so the side view, you can see the old master cylinder where it lined up because of the two lines, and these are a little bit further back. So we need to bench bleed it first. In this case, let's just call it bleed it instead of bench bleed it. And I made something that will work. Let me show you what I did. Ultimately, this is what my bleeding system looks like. I had to put these uh, clamps on because it was bleeding nicely, but when you'd release the brake pedal, it was just loose enough to be able to pull a little bit of air. So I used these small heater hose clamps around the adapters and the tubing to make sure that wasn't happening. And after half a dozen uh, pumps on the brake pedal, I was seeing no more bubbles come up through the clear tubing. So the lines that are coming off of my ABS here, I'm gonna plumb them back into the master cylinder. Now, the front line is bigger than what this master cylinder hole is, so you need an adapter. And this is the adapter I'm gonna use. It's a BLF26C. You can get that at the auto parts store, this costs a few bucks, and it will go onto this adapter so that in turn, the smaller side will fit into the master cylinder. The smaller line that goes in the back here will already fit. So you simply need the adapter for the front line. Okay, in adapting the lines to the master cylinder, you can see the two lines right here. These are the original lines that went to the original master cylinder. And obviously the shorter, the new master cylinder is shorter. Now, a lot of guys are reversing the lines and putting the back in the, the back in the front and the front into the back. And I'm not really sure why this master cylinder is set up for a front and rear disc brake configuration. So there's no reason to have to do that. And to verify that, I also contacted uh, Little Shop Manufacturing to ask if they did that and they do not. So if Little Shop doesn't do it, I'm not going to do it. I've reconfigured the line. This is the original line and I put the brass fitting on it, but you're gonna to need to put the brass fitting into the master cylinder first because if you tighten these two together and then try, it's not gonna work. I just found that out. Didn't think about it. So we'll put a rag down below here. And we kept the front to the front and the back to the back. We didn't crisscross them like some of the other videos do. Okay, the new master cylinder is installed. These are the factory tubings. The brake tubing that went from the, it goes from the ABS to the master cylinder. 
just had to reconfigure them and bend them up a little bit. Just got to be careful how you do it and be sure you don't crack, crack them by bending them too far. Uh, beat on it a little bit with a dead blow hammer and folded it over sockets and did everything I could um, to get them configured to work this way. The 18 millimeter adapter goes in with no problem. All the other fittings are 9 sixteenths. They're all snugged up. The master cylinder has been bled. We still need to get more fluid now to be able to flush and bleed the entire system on the truck. But it does look good. And we are ready to go on to yet another part of this project. Okay, guys, that wraps it up for today for putting in the master cylinder in the OBS project. Everything went smooth. You just got to take your time bending the tubing. Uh, gosh, I spent well over an hour doing that, just playing with it. But you want to be careful because you don't want to bend it too quickly. You kink it, you crack it, then you've got to find a new piece of tubing. And uh, that can just be a hassle for you. So be careful with it. Take your time. It will work. It'll bend. It's uh, very forgiving. That's all I've got for you today. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate a thumbs up if you learned anything. And if you enjoy watching this project, please subscribe as we, uh, as we move on to other projects with this truck to get it closer to completion. We're not far away from putting the motor in, but we still got a few more things to do. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.